Hey everybody, I'm Rob Freeman and welcome back to Securing the Built Environment. This is episode 142. And in this episode, we're gonna answer the question, should you use Apple's password manager? So we're gonna talk about four things in this video. One is what the benefits are of using Apple's password manager. Two, the downsides of using it. Three, the benefits of using a third party password manager. And number four, what password managers have been hacked as of today, anyway. So uh, yeah, so now with the new release of iOS 18, there's a new Apple password manager available in iOS. And it's actually available um, with the new release of Mac Sequoia, so that operating system as well. And what it does is it provides a sort of improved user experience over the normal uh, iCloud keychain password app that was available through settings in the past. So now you have a dedicated app that is just for passwords and it works really well. And if you are all in on Apple's ecosystem, there are some clear benefits to using it. So what are the benefits of using Apple's password manager? Well, for the first thing obviously is it's not gonna cost you anything. It's free to use the Apple Password Manager. Um, and that's obviously a huge issue for a lot of people is cost. That's you know a factor that a lot of people consider. But in addition, there are some other tools that Apple's Password Manager offers and includes with it. Specifically, it allows you to manage website, app, and Wi-Fi passwords, as well as verification codes and pass keys all from within the app. It allows you to create shared passwords for groups, like if you wanna share passwords with your family. Um, you can also easily transfer passwords from a third-party password manager, like 1Password or LastPass, to Apple Passwords to make the migration. And Apple offers end-to-end -end encryption for Apple Passwords. So you can feel comfortable and secure in knowing that your passwords are end-to-end -end encrypted. And um, Apple also automatically backs up all your passwords to your iCloud account. And then the nice thing about that is that you're, if you're using an iPhone and a Mac and an iPad or any of the other Apple device, the uh, password app will allow you to create, save, and autofill all your passwords on your websites and apps when using Safari or when using apps within the Apple ecosystem. And you can also download the passwords to a file or a paper backup if you want. And that's a nice thing to have because you probably should have a backup of your passwords in case you get hit by the proverbial bus and you need to have that as a backup. All right, so what are the downsides of relying on Apple for password management? Well. If you are not all in on Apple's ecosystem, like if you rely on an Android phone or you use a Chromebook or you're a Windows user and you don't want to use a browser extension for Chrome or Edge, then the Apple Password Manager is going to be limiting for you. Uh, it's really designed to make it easier for people who use Apple's stuff. Another downside is that Apple is clear about how it manages and encrypts your data, but the iCloud keychain system is closed source. It's not an open source system that allows uh, cybersecurity researchers and analysts to evaluate how it works. And so that is in contrast to other password managers that are open source. For instance, uh, ProtonPass is an open source system that allows people to uh, audit how it works and check for any vulnerabilities to make sure that the system is secure. So those are downsides. Also, uh, if you don't want to limit yourself to just a password manager, you want tools that go beyond that, like you want a VPN or secure email or um, you know malware scanning or antivirus services some password management companies offer bundled services like that that can give you more versatility so what about third-party password managers companies like one password or proton pass or bitwarden or LastPass, are they a better option for you uh, when you're 
choosing a password manager? Well, it depends on whether you use more than one type of operating system. If you use the uh, Microsoft Windows a lot and you also use uh, Chrome, uh, the, a Chromebook, or you use a, an Android device or Linux, then you may want to go with a third-party password manager that'll make your life easier across all of those different ecosystems. Um, the password managers that I mentioned are gonna be offering similar features, so end-to-end -end encryption, um, generating strong passwords and, and remembering those for you, storing them for you and auto-filling them for you across all the websites and apps that you visit. Now, the only challenge is, and obviously you obviously have to pay for those as well because they will come with a fee, but I think a more important question for you to ask is, um, you know, since every company, including Apple, is subject to being hacked, no company is immune from being hacked, uh, what is the, what do you think is the least risky choice for you in terms of where you want to store all your passwords and manage them? And my personal opinion is if you're going to uh, rely heavily on the Apple ecosystem, uh, Apple is as good a choice as any other in terms of managing your passwords. I mean, they basically have unlimited resources to uh, manage your passwords and provide you with a secure system. And it also just is a, in terms of a user experience for Apple users, they're just going to be better than anybody else in terms of um, offering, you know, a better overall seamless user experience than a third party password manager. Now, some of these password managers have found vulnerabilities. Apple's found vulnerabilities in its own system. Um, a company called LastPass, which is a uh, third-party password manager, they reported in 2022 that they were hacked. Uh, a link to the article about um, different password managers and their history of being hacked is available below the link to this video. Um, and <clears throat> LastPass announced that they were hacked in 2022 and then uh, through a series of blog posts just revealed how um, the situation was more serious than they thought it might be. So um, again, I think every company is vulnerable or at risk of being hacked. And so you just need to choose whether um, you know, you're know you gonna be using Apple's environment. And if so, is that the best option for you? So I think personally for people who are all in on Apple that probably that might be the best choice uh, for people to use. But again, if you want additional features or you use other Windows systems or Android or Chrome and you want, or Linux, and you want to have a more um, flexible offering in terms of your password management, then a third-party password manager might be the best option for you. So um, anyway, there's a link to the article where I go into detail on all the features that Apple Password Manager is offering and uh, right below this video. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful and have a great day.